dream. But dreams don't come true by themselves. You have to help them come true. All right, you ready? I was bused to very white schools. I always knew I was not going to put my daughter in that environment. I did not expect I would also put her in a segregated environment. How do your friends get to school? Dante lives in the cross street, doesn't he? Where's no, Dante? I don't think Dante is. Hi, and then lives a cop across the, the street. Oh, Jacoby rides the bus. Good morning, Naja. Was Sam uh, cranky this morning? Um, he was okay. Mad. I don't talk to her about that we intentionally chose the segregated school for her. I don't want her to notice. It was not an easy decision. I've spent my career chronicling the way that segregated schools harm black children, but at the same time, this is what public education to me is, is this is the one place where the masses can mix. This is the one place where we're not supposed to all go into our own corners with people who are exactly like us. My daughter doesn't know that there's a class difference between her and her classmates. She will as she gets older, I'm sure. But right now, these are just her friends. Um, and I think that that's the most important thing that I can give her while also trying to even the playing field a bit for the kids in the school whose parents work hard every day, but they work jobs that they don't have status. They don't have access to power. They can't write a 10,000 word piece in the New York Times Magazine about their experience. But I can do that and my presence in the school um, changes the status for those children too. I hoped, I think like many parents, that I would be able to put her in an integrated, truly integrated school environment, but in New York City, your choices are often, you know, polar opposites. Those of us who have choice and privilege and some power keep avoiding these schools, then we have accepted that this two-tiered system is inevitable and, and I don't accept that.